Du kommst wie Schein in Prächtig, ein kleiner süße Jid. Der erste Mitzel, es macht im Lechtig, weil jetzt in Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Online Smicha. Today we'll discuss the halacha in this week's parsha, Parsha's Vayikra. In Vayikra, Perik Beis, Pasik Yir Aleph, the Pasik says, Kol Amincha Asha Takrivo La Hashem. So there's a bunch of rules what can't take place by Amincha. No Chometz, no Se'er, no Devash. But then the Pasik says, Vechol Karbam Minchascha Bamelach Timlach. All Carbon minchas, you should make sure they should be salted. Loisash bis melach bris alikecha me al minchasecha. Make sure you should not forget. You should you should make sure there is salt because there is a bris alikecha. There is some promise given to melach, some specialty about the melach that should be involved me al minchasecha. And you might think it only applies by a mincha. So the pasuk says al kol korban takriv melach. And the Balaturim Taka makes a diuk that the Pasik says three Nikudas, three points about Melach, Kol Karbam and Chascha and Melach Timlach, Loisashbis Melach, Me'al and Chascha, Al Kol Karbantcha Takar of Melach, says the Balaturim, this is to correspond to three places in the Beis Amikdash where the Melach was Lishka Samelach, the Kevesh, and the Mizbeach. The Kevesh and the Mizbeach. So, we see something unique about salt, melach. As Rashi also brings, that it's not only on the mincha, but all oilas behema, ve'oif, a more kola kachim, you have to put melach. Says Rashi, bris krusa lemelach misheshes yime bereshes. This is from the time of creation. There was a promise given to melach. Likarev bimizbeach bimelach that the melach will be used on the mezbeach b'shas de karbanes, and mayim will be used b'chag. What is so unique about the mezbeach? So the das kainim mibalatais, what was so unique about the melach on the mezbeach? So the das kainim mibalatais says, because melach is something everlasting, something which preserves, dover hamiskayim, and it will cause, the mezbeach causes a kapara, he brings a, a beautiful mashal. He says, a person does, uh, a person does an avera, Rahman al it's like becoming dirty, having a dirty garment. So when a person has a dirty garment, he doesn't care to get it a little more dirty. When a person's wearing a clean garment, the smallest speck of dust shows, and he's very careful in cleaning it off. So when a person knows that the kapara is an everlasting thing, he will not go ahead, and it cleans him, he will not go ahead, chas v'sholem, and do an avera again. And that's symbolized by the concept of the melach. The Kleyakar has a whole other long arichus, what's unique about melach, salt, and that's why a kol karban chotakir of melach. I want to quote two halachas in Alter Rebbe Shulchan Aruch, where this comes out, the halacha. In Hilchus Betzia Sapas Simen Kuv Zayin, Kuv Samach Zayin, sorry, the, the Alter Rebbe says, you should not make the bracha on the, on the pass, on the bread, until they have melach on the table, salt on the table. Or you have something that will give more taste to the bread, the prusa shel bracha. What's the reason? So the pass that you are eating should have a better, better taste. And what is it? What is that? Why? Why is it so important? The taste of the food of the past, mishum kaved habracha. It's more honorable for the bracha you're going to make. Vafilu im yisacher adover, and even because of the waiting for the salt, you're going to delay acher yaviu. Still, kaved habracha that the bracha you're going to make on the past will be more chayis. It will be over a better tasting piece of bread. It's fine. You could delay. You could wait for the melech to be brought. And not only that, if there's many people, you have to bring, you have to wait. Achavil, if they call echa va'echad, make sure that everybody had, whoever is being yaitza with this bracha should have melach. However, says the Alter Rebbe, if it's a bread which is nakia, or metuvel batavlin, or bemelach, it has a salty ingredient, ke'en shalanu, or he intended, he personally, he once 
to have Pascha Reve. He doesn't want it. For him, it's better not to have a good tasting bread. Ein Sarech Lamdim. So the first thing you see, the concept of Melach, is so the top, the, the, the Pash should be a better tasting, so it should be covered the Bracha. But then the Alter Rebbe says, Mikol Makoim, Nagula Niach Melach Ala Shulchan. It's customary either way to always have Melach on the table. Lefisha Shulchan, Doimel Mizbeach. Because we believe, Zaha Shulchan Ashelifne Hashem, that every Kitch, every table that uh, uh, Yidin eat over, it's corresponding, it's connected to the Mizbeach. The Achila and eating what's, what's on the Shulchan is like eating what's on the Mizbeach, Kikarbim. The Namar, and the Pasik says what the Pasik that we mentioned before, I'll call Karboncha Takriv Melach. And he, again, he goes on to say a phenomenal Medrash. Ukish Yisrael Yoishvin al Shulchan. And when Yidin are sitting around the table, and they're waiting for each other to wash their hands. And there's no mitzvah reason why they're waiting, just wasting time. The Satan comes, Rachman al-Atzlan says bad things. And the fact that you will have the melach on the table, that will protect you from the prosecution, Rachman al-Atzlan, of the Satan. L'chein mitzvah l'hanichay al ha-shulchan, afilu lo yeichlu mimenu. Even if for whatever reason you have a way, you have a reason why you're not eating the salt, salt should always be on the table. Al pi ha-kabola, yesh l'tabo prusa saptia b'melach gibol pa'amim. According to Gabola, you should dip the bread three times into the, the salt, the kiva, and then the Alter Rebbe concludes and says, once I'm telling you already that a shulchan is doyim alim don't do any, any, any disrespectful thing or not honorable things or killing. Toiv lizar shalei of kina. If you see a worm, an ant, a fly, a bug, or anything on the table, don't kill it on the table because shulchan doyim alim and that's not what takes place on the mezbeach. So the first nikud that we see about salt. In Simon Kufay and Tess, Si'iv Ches, there's another point about salt. Achar kol achilascha achel melach. After you eat your meal, he brings from the Gemara, make sure to eat some salt. Va'achar kar shiyascha, and make sure when you drink, shisei mayim. Drink water. The final thing should be water. Vi'i atan nizeg. By doing that, you won't be harmed. What's going on? Because he says, If somebody ate food and he didn't eat salt, that will affect that you, you have, it won't smell fine from your mouth. Nighttime, supper time, it's even worse. If you don't have salt and water, it causes not only reyach but rachman al-tzan, the sickness of askara. The cholam mekafa achilasi b'mayim ain't a boy l'day chaylam i'ayim. Anybody who is careful to have water when he when he eats, he will not he will he will be saved rachman al-tzan from the sickness of chaylam i'ayim. And the Altrebbe goes through the importance of water and 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 uh, salt. V'achshav, however, today's day is le'nagu klau ba'achilas melech achar suda. Today's day is for we find that people are not makbid to do what the Gemara says to eat melech at the end of the meal. Ve'ain nizoykim, and we see that Baruch Hashem people don't get hurt. B'nei shenishtanu hativim, because the natures, the nature of people have changed. The the the, the physics and 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 the what causes sickness has changed in the world. And there's a wonderful sikha from the Rebbe where the Rebbe says, how is it, how does this rule stim with the cloud, the Torah, he litzchis, and it's everlasting. And the Rebbe def- makes a difference between the halacha or dvarim that are, um, uh, are nisak, mishim sakana, that if the nishtana hativa, uh, nishtana hateva, nishtana halacha about, because the teva is, ult- uh, is ultimately different and there's no more sakana. Yashikoyach, and please join us again next week.